Hey guys, it's Nicole. I'm back with another video and I know it's been almost a year since I put out a video. Um, it was a long break that I needed. <laughs> um, not because I didn't want to do YouTube videos, just because of all the roller coasters going on in my life. And it happens and here I am, I'm back. So I'm going to start off um, my comeback video with a stethoscope review. So. I had a couple companies reach out to me and they have sent me their stethoscopes and today I wanted to review um, Metalitha's um, stethoscope and this is the Urca Precise. Um, so I will be talking about this and we'll get into the specs of this stethoscope and what I like about it, what I don't like about it, first impressions, and how I use it when I'm working as a nurse on a f uh, telemetry floor. So. Stethoscopes are really important on a floor like that. So the Urca Precise compares to the Littman Cardiology 4 um, and it goes for about $156 on the website. So the Urca Precise has chrome polished brass which differs from a lot of stethoscopes that use stainless steel for uh, these parts um, in the fact that it isn't as porous as stainless steel is which makes it more hygienic going from patient to patient and it's not going to carry bacteria from one patient to another, etc. In my packaging, which I don't have because I am currently in the stages of moving to another state and I have family in and out or trying to sell this house and it got lost and or thrown away and I cannot find it anywhere. But I do, however, have what was included was this little bag and it comes in, you can put your stethoscope in here, has this little elastic here, and then it has um, where you can put like your extra your pieces, um, and maybe pen lines, scissors, pens, you name it. So I take this with me to work and I put it in here to keep it safe. And with my other stethoscopes, I'll just put it back in the packaging and then carry a box with me. Since I don't have the packaging, um, I'll just tell you what my first impression was of the packaging, um, but basically it came in a regular box, not so much, not the same kind of box that you get um, where it's like one at a bottom and you pull up, it's more so a, a slide out um, packaging. And um, I wasn't really impressed with their packaging. Um, it wasn't in foam, it wasn't like protected, it didn't look like a piece of art um, in a box. I think if there was anything that they wanted to step up on it would be the packaging. Um, but obviously that's not going to, you know, discredit how good of a stethoscope this is. Um, and, you know, my first um, thought when I did pick it up was, wow, this is really heavy. And um, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is something I would use, um, but I need to still give it a shot, so I did, and I mean, it's still heavy, but it does its job, and if it needs to be heavy to do its job and have high quality to it, then I'm all for it. So if you don't mind too much about weight or um, like the style of these parts, um, then I'd say go for it. So. What I like about the stethoscope is I love the sound quality a lot. Um, it is very uh, easy to hear, especially when the patient has their TV on um, or they're talking to family or talking to me even though I tell them to while I'm listening. <laughs> it is just long enough for me to listen to my patient for how tall I am. I'm 5'9 and it's such a pain having to like lift the bed, put the bed down, and you know, not hurt my back while reaching over. So it's not too short. It's about the average length of each stethoscope. Um, so yeah. So some things I don't like about the stethoscope is how heavy it is. Um, this is a very, very, very heavy diaphragm. Um, and I think that just goes into the whole sound quality and being able to hear really well. Um, and what's built into it, and um, I appreciate that, but it is heavy around my neck. I like to just take it off once I'm done with my assessments at the beginning of the shift and place it next to me where I am at the computer, and if I need it, I'll grab it and go, and then go from there. 
I'm not really, I don't really like, uh, like, this design. I don't know why, there's just something about this design that I don't like. I prefer just the regular, um, like, you know, just goes like that. But I do like how the ear, ear um, pieces fit in my ear. It fits pretty well. It fits snug into the ears, and even if you did need to make it a little bit tighter just to hear a little bit better, you know, um, then you can hear. Uh, anyways, another thing I don't really like about this is because it's so heavy and how I wear it around my neck um, or how I put it in my bag, I know it's so um, such a small issue or it's just something that really bothers me for whatever reason, but I like to just be able to put my head, my stethoscope on and do whatever I need to do. However, it will always, for whatever reason, it will always switch over to the bell side and I'm like always trying to listen like, and, I, and I'll have to stop. I'm like, okay, I can't hear anything and then I'll check it and I'm like, oh, it's obviously turned and I don't know why. That's just something that bothers me. But um, anyways, uh, it's a really good stethoscope. I like it. Um, and it does its job, and especially when you're on a tele for, um, it's really important to have a good stethoscope so that you can hear for murmurs, um, any clicks, any S3, S4 sounds, um, which I don't hear too often. Mostly I'll hear, um, like a murmur or I'll hear, um, a very distant heart sound. Um, and it's good to have a good stethoscope that can show those differences, especially if you, um, Feel like you don't know what you are looking for this one will definitely show you and will let you or not show you it will help you listen for those different heart sounds that you thought you may or may not have been hearing before on a different stethoscope um, but I feel like they did a very good job with this stethoscope um, other than the weight um, but everything else it checks out great with me and if I could suggest this to anyone, it would definitely be for a nurse like me on a tele floor. Um, anyone else, maybe like a student nurse or uh, anyone like on not a tele floor that like where the heart isn't much of an issue, um, I wouldn't say you need to, you know, uh, pay the much pay as much money for this stethoscope in particular. Um, I'm sure you can go with a. Uh, lesser value of a stethoscope um, for your needs, um, but this is very professional. So if you're looking for a very professional stethoscope, this is definitely something I would go for. I really think that this would also work well if you are in nursing school and you are having a hard time distinguishing different heart sounds. And I know that sounds silly to be buying something this expensive in nursing school, but if this is what it takes to do a good assessment, um, then do it. So um, invest in your practice and do it. So um, let me know what you think. If you have an ARCA Precise, let me know what you think about it. Um, if this review helped at all. Um, and in the description below, you'll find the link to where you could buy the stethoscope. And um, let me know what you think. If you do end up getting it, I'd love to know what you think about the stethoscope and if this review helped you make a decision on whether or not you were going to buy it. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and that is my little girl, my baby, my Riley, walking around. You can hear her clickety clack of her toenails. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll be back with another stethoscope review in my next video. So take care, love you all, and thanks for being patient with me. Bye.